So, ladies and gentlemen, what would you say about a player that was drafted by Montreal Canadiens in the second round, played on the same team with Wayne Gretzky, but never really did anything major in his major league hockey career? We're going to talk today about the curious case of Montreal-born Ron Carter. Now, Ron Carter uh, was a strong, strong player for the Sherbrooke Castors of the 78 uh, QMNJHL team. He almost scored 100 goals combined regular season and playoffs that year. Sherbrooke was a powerhouse in the Q in that era. Over three seasons, he scored in bunches. 1976, 70 points, 34 goals. 77, 77 goals, 12 goals in the playoffs, 89 goals. <coughs> but 1978, 88 goals in a regular season. 174 points, 10 goals, 7 assists, 17 points. <coughs> so Montreal drafts him. Ends up with the Dallas Blackhawks and the Springfield Indians. Something happens. Montreal doesn't keep him. He eventually ends up with the Edmonton Oilers in 1980 with a cup of coffee and just remains on the lower end of the minor pros for a number of years. Here's what we played for, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Dallas, Springfield, Houston, Rochester, Erie, Flint, Nashville, Virginia, and Mohawk Valley. Again, he put some uh, uh, some good ACHL numbers in three consecutive seasons with the AHL, ACHL in Nashville, where he was a local folk hero. He was averaging um, nearly 50, 53, 54 uh, goals a season. So, for someone to score 88 goals in the queue and not have an NHL career to see what he could do, Again, he played two games with Edmonton, but it was just a basic call-up from the Apollos. But his minor numbers were just tremendous. You know, 40 with Houston, 31 with Rochester, uh, 23 with Erie, uh, 29 with Flint, and again, the numbers with uh, uh, combined. He uh, He's like John LeBlanc's numbers, if you know John LeBlanc for uh, from Camelton. Uh, uh, LeBlanc played more in the pros, but, you know, you know, and you know what was interesting about this too as well. There's a lot of Carters in Northern New Brunswick. So when he got drafted by the Canadians in '78, some of the Carters up home were quite young kids. It was a, it was a tip of the hat to the Carter family. Uh, you know, but you, you never know sometimes. But it's a recurring theme. Montreal drafts these Q superstars. They get them, and they go nowhere. They could add a whole team of former Q stars from the 1970s draft to not make the NHL. It'll be like an all-star or non-all-star. But I seen Carter play, like I said. I, I used to follow a lot of the TV and uh, SRC highlights, and he could play. He could play. And he was a right winger, big guy, 6'1", 205, and could make the abs. Another example of just because you're Q-ready, you may not be NHL-ready. Have a good evening. Bye.